What's going on, everybody? This is Adam Potash, and I'm with Victoria Bays. How are you, Victoria? Really good. How are you? Fantastic. Uh, you are listening to The Approach Podcast. We have a lot going on, as usual, here at The <laughs> Approach. I'm sure you have lots of good topics to talk about and questions. Yeah, yeah we've got loads of questions. I'm also going to go through some of the really exciting stuff that's been happening in our Facebook community, yeah. because I our coaches have been running this non-scale victories all week. And honestly, like, I know that you can get pretty emotional about members' results, but like, for me, it's the non-scale victories that really like hit home with why people do this and Always. why we help people. Um, so it's been a really kind of emotional week seeing those all come in. So I want to share some of them. Yeah, you know, the number on the scale, we've, we've seen so many losses and numbers on the scale go down and all that. But when it becomes a non-scale victory, I think it becomes so personal, right? Like, yeah. Um, and it's that other thing besides the weight loss. And so I get it. 100%. Yeah. I like those even more. A hundred percent. So yeah, we'll go through those at the end so that we finish on a emotional high with those. So why don't yeah. we start with some members questions? Yeah. And then um, that will lead us into talking about like the power of intermittent fasting for prevention against um, illnesses, which I really want to talk about. Let's talk about before we do that, you know, some this coffee thing, I know we've probably talked about this on this <laughs> podcast before, but Guys, I just wanted to make a note for everybody. Nothing can go in that coffee in the morning. <laughs> want to do intermittent fasting. I was going through like probably 500 TikTok messages on the plane the other day. And um, yeah, it's just everybody's questions were, can I put this in my coffee? Can I put that in my coffee? Yeah. I'm like black coffee people. So yeah. if you want to do intermittent fasting. If you want to burn fat, nothing can go in that black coffee. Just want to get that off my chest because yeah, now yeah. I have no questions to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know that I saw somebody did ask about like flavored coffee and whether they yeah. can have flavored coffee black. Flavored is that... coffee is fine. That's that's still black flavored black. coffee. There's nothing wrong with that. That's like a that's like one of these, like a sparkling water yeah. or whatever. That's that's perfectly okay, but nothing, nothing inside there. So we've had a few questions about matcha. Can people have matcha instead of black coffee or tea? Yeah, so matcha is, yeah, that's perfectly okay. But my, my issue with it, and I generally say no, because I think people are going to Starbucks and getting their matcha latte <laughs> or whatever, matcha, this, yeah. matcha, and it's not just matcha. And yeah. so I think people have to be very careful with that. If you're just doing matcha, which if you had it by itself, isn't the tastiest thing in the world. Uh, um, so I think people just have to be careful. So nine times out of 10, I'll actually just say, no, you can't have it. And I'm kind of yeah. like funny that way. And I'm, I'm looking out for them more than obviously myself, but, um, you can, but it's just has to be plain matcha. No, no funky, you know, business with it. Got it. Yeah. Um, there was a big, sort of debate earlier in the week about is fat free okay someone said can I have a fat free yogurt oh yeah and um you said absolutely not <laughs> and yeah people had things to say about it so I just wanted to know your opinion I saw I think there was I don't know what where that was at but I saw then a lot of people were chiming in or backing me up or whatever yeah talking for me which is I always yeah. think it's so cool <laughs> I'm like all right I'll just sit back and let you guys you know they've heard me plenty plenty to kind of chime in for me which is it's fun um yeah I'm not a fan of anything that says fat free or sugar free or or anything like that I I think people need to be aware that um, number one, it's a humongous marketing thing. And have we have we gone down this road of, of where fat free came into play? Have we talked I don't about that? So. Oh my gosh. Okay. So wow, we're gonna get all geeky and dorky here. <laughs> um, so what happened back and I want to say I'm gonna get my dates wrong, but probably the 60s and 70s, uh, you know, at this obesity thing really started to take off, right? Like our our planet. Uh, maybe, you know, same thing happened in the UK, you know, certainly in the United States, the obesity rating just, you know, took off. And so one kind of counter to this is what they thought without losing any money, because profits were still important, was that they would just title everything fat free. And so what this did was all they did was take out fat. So, oh my gosh, I have so much to talk about on this. So they could take out fat put more sugar, 
call it fat free, mm -hmm. still remain the taste and flavor for the most part. So they were just putting in the fat in a different direction, right? Yeah. So they were calling something fat free and, you know, putting more sugar into it. Uh, the crazy part about this um, is so they had to do something with all this fat. All right. So they were taking all this fat out of gosh, this is so crazy. It's a crazy conversation. Yeah. Because I don't think a lot of people know this. So they were, do you know this? Do you know this? No, I didn't okay. say. Okay. So um, wow, I'm getting excited. So <laughs> they um so they had to do some, they weren't just throwing out all this fat, right? So they were actually storing the fat that they were taking out, taking out of all these products. So it became so expensive to store all the fat that they didn't know what to do with. So, so they tried to solve one problem with calling things fat free and taking out the fat. They did that, right? Um, but they were just, again, putting the sugar in. So then they were taking all this fat and storing it, but the storage of all this fat was costing them so much money, they had to figure out what to do with all this fat. So they started selling the fat into like all these frozen products, like frozen pizzas, like like had all this fat injected oh into it, all this. God. Yeah. So it's just, and it still happens. It, it still goes on. So that's oh. what, yeah. So they basically took out fat in one place and put it into another product. Um, and it's just the craziest thing. And this, you know, you talk about like, you know, 2% milk and fat free milk. That's yeah. exactly what they started doing with it. Right? right. So, um, like more, there's more sugar in skim milk than there is in, in whole milk. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is a crazy, crazy conversation to go down, but that's, that, that's like the, the gist of it, uh, how, why, why we don't do fat free items. It just, it just means there's more sugar in it. Same thing yeah. goes with, with things that say no, uh, or sugar free. Yeah. Um, if it says, if it says no sugar added, that doesn't mean it doesn't have any sugar, yeah, uh, that's another thing that I think people mistake, right? Like they, if they see no sugar added, that doesn't mean it has no sugar, it just has no added sugar. It could have 30 grams of sugar, just nothing yeah. added like apple juice, right? No sugar added apple juice. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> it still has got, still has 30 grams of sugar or 40 grams of sugar per serving. Right. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, people got to be really careful with this stuff. Yeah. Got it. Lots that's of, so lots of, mis lots of misinformation, lots of, uh, marketing tactics, yeah. Final question for today, which I think we've answered before, but it does come up a lot. Um, I take medication and vitamins. When do, when is the right time to take them when fasting? Yeah. So um, recommended is uh, vitamins are typically food soluble. So you'd want to take vitamins, not really on an empty stomach. You could you know, feel a little grumbling if you do ever take vitamins on empty stomach or something like that. So, uh, and they work a little better, generally speaking, um, you know, taken with food. Um, with that said, vi uh, medications generally won't break your fast. Yeah. So those can be taken obviously with all this information, you know, get your doctor's approval and recommendation. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're, maybe there's certain medications that need to be taken with food. Um, and so therefore my suggestion would be just either break your fast earlier yeah. Um, or if you can wait to take that medication, it's not a morning medication per se. You can take that medication with your first meal with your vitamins. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. Yeah. Maybe we need to do a whole other podcast about this fat free stuff. Cause I feel like oh my you've God, got a whole lot to say. Yeah. It's just, it's just a crazy, crazy how all this, I mean, and this, this kind of controversy goes on and on and on to where basically the, the big companies, the Coca-Colas, the, the General Mills, uh, I'm sure you have like the Purdue's like all these companies basically got together and um, they were like, what are we going to do about this, this obesity, you know, pandemic? And they were like, we're not doing anything like and so they basically just kind of reworked the whole system. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, oh my it's goodness. There basically everyone was pointing the fingers at everybody else. There, it's not. It's not Coca Cola. It's not our fault. It's not uh, the sugar over here. It's not the fat over here. And they basically just okay. No one's gonna do anything. All right. We'll we'll move on. So wow. yeah. So I want to move on to talking about like the power of prevention and I guess like the mindset behind looking after your body before anything like you start to get any onset of illness or things like that because I think a lot of the time people wait 
to her get an illness and then respond to that and make lifestyle changes once they sometimes it's just if you feel that you're getting older or you feel like you're slowing down a bit or you have you go to the doctor and they say actually you've got this you've got that and I know we have a lot of members who have different conditions who will come to us for that reason and say actually you know I heard my friend did well and they've got the same thing as me and they've reversed it or whatever Mm -hmm. Um, and so I just want to get your kind of thoughts on how you can get into that mindset of preventing things happening to your body and how intermittent fasting can assist your body really in looking after itself before anything starts to go wrong. Well, first off, there, there's no money to be made in true health care, right? All, all the money is to be made in sick care. Yeah. And, and again, I'm sure it's the same in the UK as it, as it is here. Um, everything is, is sick care. Not a, not a single thing is devoted towards true health care. Um, mm-hmm. even, our, even our doctors, I mean, um, you know, doctors learn, what, 10,000 prescriptions uh, at, in their schooling and their education. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Not, and at one point is, is really a healthcare. Uh, it's just the way our system is. And it's, it's sad. It's a business. Um, you know, I was, I was listening to a podcast the other day. I talked all about like, there's no n- money to be made in empty hospital beds. Right. Yeah. Um, it's just, they were comparing it to a restaurant to where if like your restaurant was only half full every day, like you'd go out of business. <sighs> Yeah. Right. It's the same. It's the same exact concept. Um, mm-hmm. And I just think people don't understand that. Um, so to go back to your question of how intermittent fasting works in terms of true health care is that yeah. number one, our bodies, again, aren't designed to eat throughout the entire day. So that eating process, if we think about it in terms of energy, right, um, we, we have energy towards towards certain things in our body. If we're consuming food throughout the entire day, our body is taking 100% of our energy or a majority of our energy and using it to digest food and process that food. Mm -hmm. If we just gave our bodies the opportunity to rest, your body would take that same energy and do multiple different things with it, right? Like burn fat, uh, restore cells in our body, repair cells, generate new cells. And, And as we know, I don't care what our health education is, our body is made up of trillions upon trillions of cells. Yeah. Um, so that's that's what happens. And, and people don't realize it. And it doesn't take long. It doesn't take years of doing this. People start seeing effects within the first couple of days, within the first week. And, yeah. I, and I'm like, and they're blown away. I'm like, yeah, I've been, I told you, like it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't take long just because your body starts taking that energy to to now repair yeah. itself. And that's the that's the cycle that our body wants and needs. And and also in, in talking about this, like our body wants to be at somewhat of a like a scared state, like a at, mm-hmm. at a somewhat of a stressed state that that triggers good proteins in our body and, and, and things like that to be released. You, I know you see this whole like ice thing now. The ice is that a big yeah, in the yeah, UK? Yeah. Yeah. The, huge, the ice, yeah. yeah I, I'm not into it just yet. <laughs> um I'll, <laughs> I'll wait a little while till I get into dunking my head in yeah. freezing water at 6 a.m. But um I, I there's there's benefits to it. I'm not knocking it. Um, yeah. you know it's kind of like apple cider vinegar. I think it's great. I'm not doing it though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, do you do apple cider vinegar? No, no I did. No. I definitely went through a stage when I did. I think when I was younger and I lived in London and I was a bit more trendy. I think we all did like yeah. apple cider vinegar first thing in the morning. But you're not so no, cool anymore. I'm not so cool anymore. <laughs> I've got other things to do. <laughs> um, so there is something to be said, too, about putting your body into a little stress. It is very positive in this yeah. like fat and happy state. Our bodies do not do well. That's where disease comes into play. Yeah. Uh, all these health concerns come into play. So, um, yeah, and we know all this information. It's crazy to me because we know yeah. all this. This is nothing. This is nothing new. These are these are hundred year old studies, and um, you know we still don't get it. You know, yeah. we're still we're still beaten up by the billions of dollars pushed towards marketing. So it's it's, yeah. it's sad. You know, we've talked about it before on here. You know, if you look at how much money spent on Coca Cola. In, in advertising and how much money spent on broccoli in advertising, right? Like it's, yeah. it's there's no yeah. comparison that, you know, so. Um, yeah. it's and crazy. I guess, especially in the U S there's obviously a massive 
financial consideration for if you get sick like it is very different for us over here because we have free healthcare. so I think people here have this like kind of like oh I'll be looked after there's no like you're never going to have to pay for your healthcare here so when you do get ill everything gets sorted out for you and I think that can be detrimental in a way because in the lead up to it because people don't have that fear over having to pay out loads of money if they do get sick. I think that's certainly a piece of it. I think there's another piece to it. Like, uh, like, you know, if we take smoking a cigarette, for example, like one cigarette is not going to kill you. Right. Yeah. And people just take that mindset, like, uh, you know, chocolate cake isn't going to kill me, yeah. you know, and it's, it's just how you're treating your body over time. <clears throat> I'll never forget. I, I talked to a doctor one time. He was explaining, excuse me, <clears throat> like cholesterol, like bad cholesterol necessarily isn't, isn't bad at, at a moment. Right. But he's like, yeah. if, if, if I'm tapping on this computer for the next 15 years, eventually this computer is going to crack and break. Right. Yeah. And I think that's a mindset that we all need to kind of think about and take in yeah. that it's not, it's not one day. It's the day to day every day for multiple years of how we're treating our body eventually it breaks down eventually it cracks and and for the yeah. most part some of it's not repairable yeah um, so yeah it's 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 crazy just the the mindset of the majority of our society yeah. these days yeah. but, and you're right people think oh it'll, it, there's there's a drug for that there's yeah there's a, there's a repair for that right like yeah we're not we're not cars guys like you know yeah your car lasts seven years if you're lucky. Like we want to last a hundred years. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So healthcare over sick care, that can be our always motto. Oh yeah, <laughs> always for sure. And if you go about it that way, I mean, you're gonna live a long, happy life and do it yeah. in fasting. <laughs> yeah. Let's go on to some of our non-scale victories from our members. Just oh, I'd to love to. I, I, I've been on our community um, over the last couple of days and I have been blown away yeah. by the amount of sharing that's been going on. So yeah, please. I'm, I'm... It's really cool. So yeah. I have one here. Um, well, somebody just said non-scale victory, sleep. So yeah. people are sleeping so, so much better. Huge, huge. Yeah. Steve said, my Thursday non-scale victory is keeping this chocolate in my desk drawer and using it as a reminder of where I came from and how much I've improved. You know, I want to stop cool there. Is that? It's, it's, I love those because people don't realize that the, the transformation that's happening there. And I think people need to yeah. stop for a second and realize I, I had a one-on-one -on -one client the other day, talk to me about something similar. I was like, look, you don't realize that you would have had this before you would yeah. have eaten those chocolates before. Like you don't get it. Like th your life would have been so different prior to the approach or prior to your weight loss journey. Uh, yeah. They just don't understand. And yeah. So amazing. I love those. <laughs> Christine said, I'm slowly learning to let go of things in my life that I have no control over and embrace the things that I do. It's been a hard one for me, but I'm getting there. Love it. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Uh, Julianne said, home cooking, focusing on home cooked items instead of leaning on the convenience of fast food. Mm -hmm. um, I walked to work today. It took me an hour, even in the rain. That was so that. <laughs> That, uh, can I say, I don't know who I saw that somebody inspired that me was Kat. subconsciously. I didn't even realize it because <laughs> I did read it. And now that you're saying it, I dropped off my car. This was an hour ago to get new tires on my car. And it's about, I don't know, three miles away. And yeah. I walked back. I could have ordered an Uber, right? Yeah. I'm like, this is so silly. By the time the Uber gets here, I could have been halfway, you know? And so I walked, I walked home. It took me an hour and I walked home. So love that. Yeah. Leanne said less joint pain. I've noticed my knees aren't bugging me at all. It's really awesome to see such an improvement. It's such a diversity of all these non-scale wins. Yeah. Like unbelievable. Absolutely. Um, more for sleep, more for more energy. Mm -hmm. Um my secret Santa gave me two containers of candy at work. I gave it to a coworker to avoid any temptation. All right. Okay. Big win. Lisa said my relationship with food, I've learned to eat to fuel my body. 
I love how I look at food now and I'm not afraid to actually eat and enjoy my food and I never beat myself up for enjoying something occasionally. I used to sabotage myself if I ate a dessert. I'd be like, well, I've messed up now. Might as well indulge in everything all day long. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's super, super common. That's a, that's a huge one, right? Just the, the mindset of everything. Yeah. Um, somebody said consistency day seven of the approach and I'm celebrating not breaking my fast until 11 a.m. on all seven days. Consistency wins. Okay. Um, what else have we got? Yeah. Without all the chemicals and sugar, my body doesn't ache all over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Especially (laughs) some of those artificial sweeteners for sure. Yeah. Someone said I put on a pullover this morning and it just hung on me as opposed to the last couple of winters when it was uncomfortably tight to wear. How how good is that feeling? Yeah, huh? that's the best yeah. feeling. Yeah, that, that is, is the best. best feeling ever, right? When they just, your pants like just slip on like, whoa, okay. Yeah. Damon said he walked to axe throwing rather than Ubering. For a I team saw event. that. That was, that was a cool one. I like the, the whole, I, I'm like picturing like the scene, you know, yeah, like, I love he's it. in like some ax throwing community or group or something like that. Yeah. He said, right. Yeah. Yeah. Lisa again said going from a tight size 14 to a size six, which is wild. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Leanne, I manage a bakery. Yesterday, everyone was sampling a new dessert. I said, no, I'm not in my eating window. (laughs) So you save it for later, maybe? (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Um, Jeanette says, my first time ever in my life, not counting calories, not Uh weighing anything and not obsessing over the number on the scale. Yeah. More for meditation. Yeah, there's there's so many in there. It's just been such a joy to see them. Yeah, eating more, losing more. That that I like that one too. That that's yeah, the one that pops up. Um, no, it's been unbelievable. Again, uh, the coaches came up with this challenge, and so kudos to them. I cannot take yeah. credit for this one at all. Um, and uh, it's been amazing to see everybody's um, uh, responses in the community. So. Yeah, it has. Yeah, Very more cool. to come. More to come. Yeah, we did. We're doing this for a week. Is that right? Yeah. So people have to come up with a different one every single day this week. So and that's really why we're like getting such a range. Provoking. They're not just putting in uh, like feel better, right? They're, they're yeah. like putting in some <laughs> some serious some serious thought into it, which is neat. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. That was awesome. I want to thank everybody for listening in today. Again, if you guys want more information about the approach program, it's the simplest thing in the world. Uh, When you're ready to start your weight loss journey, just go to the app store, the play store and download the approach and we'll get you set up. You'll get your coach, you'll get the meal plans, you'll get the community, you'll get it all and you'll start losing weight your first week. So very cool. Thank you so much, Victoria. My pleasure. All right. Take care, guys.